Hey guys, Michael Shamelin here with a new tutorial. What we're going to cover right now is how to get rid of camera shake in your time lapses, um, your static time lapses, but it also works for dolly shots as well. It's really simple and basically what you're going to do is find a clip that you have uh, with, you know, a lot of camera shake. In this case, let me find one. So here's our clip and we're going to go ahead and drop that into our timeline. This is a, a sequence shot on the mountains above the clouds and you can tell it's really shaky. Uh, my camera's all, or my computer's also a little bit laggy so I'm going to put the playback a little lower. It'll be a little lower quality but it's fine. As you can see, yeah, the camera shakes. I shot it on uh, the 70 to 200 lens at 200 and there was wind so it just shook the camera on the tripod um, and this is actually a really simple simple fix so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your um, that your clip fits your timeline uh, scale wise or else the program won't be able to do anything with it uh, it needs to fit the sequence so I'm just going to line it up uh, this sequence right here is higher than 1080 so in the scale it goes um, it's 80 instead of 100 percent um, what we're gonna do is hold down control and press down on our mouse or right click I'm on a MacBook right now um, and we are going to click nest and this is gonna basically nest the footage and make it all the size of our timeline and I'm going to go into video effects. We're going, we're going to go into distort and warp stabilizer. You're going to go ahead and just apply that to your clip. And it's going to already start uh, matching up all the keyframes and analyzing everything. And uh, this will take a little while. Alright, so now it's stabilizing our clip. Cool. So, um, that should actually do the trick. Yep, looks good. No, no motion. The other thing that you want to consider about this program is you don't need to have the smoothening up to 50%. Uh, this program works really well in moderation. If we actually go to 5% on this clip, it'll we'll probably get the same effect, and it'll also crop a little less into our image. Yeah, see, there's no shake even at 5%, and if you toggle this on or off, you'll see the slight difference in the crop because it has to crop into the image slightly uh, when it does the smoothening but basically if you're on a dolly um, or you're doing a three axis move and you have the little bit of camera shake I recommend putting the smoothening at like five to ten percent uh, unless something really jerks the camera you're not going to need fifty percent smoothening and it's just going to crop into your image a little bit too much anyways but um, yeah, that's basically it. Just a really quick tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, please visit my website for more.